Yo, you must play the game until you die. Literally, gentlemen, the game of life is a game that you will continue to play until you die. And the reason that I say this is because the moment you stop playing the game, you start going downhill. You start losing, right? Things stop going the way you want them to, right? You stop getting favors, right? People people seem to start taking from you and, you know, people seem to tar- start taking advantage of you, right? Business deals are going sour and it's because you step off the gas, right? So you must continuously, it's like an endless race that you must keep on driving, right? And this is, it's only like that if you truly want to be a winner, right? And when I say winner, I just mean a winner amongst winners, right? Because this, the fact that it's a game until you die means that you don't just win. You just have to just keep leveling up, right? Like money is literally power levels. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys understand that frame of mind yet, but the amount of money you have is your power level, right? The amount of money in your bank account right now is your power level. And depending on where you live, how much power do you really have, right? And the reason I say this is, you know, it's time for you to become unstoppable, right? Like there's there's nothing else that you need to do except make sure that whatever you want to get, you're able to get it. Whatever you want to do, you're able to do it. Wherever you want to go, you can go. Whoever you want to go, whoever you want to go with you, you have the ability to pay for them to come along with you, right? You don't have to wait for them to be like, oh, I got to save up in order to go on this trip or I got to save up in order to move houses or whatever, right? Because you have the ability to take these people along with you. I feel like something just happened to the screen, but I think I think it should be good. Hopefully the, the video didn't cut out. And, you know, the reason I'm telling you this is because somebody really needs to tell you that the amount of money you have is your power level. And the moment you start viewing it that way, is when you realize that, okay, this is how strong I am right now, <laughs> right? For if you're, a, you know, any type of, you know, video game you've played or type of TV show, cartoon, anime, whatever you watch, you know, if it's a action-based, right, you have to power up, right? You have to get more experience points, right? You have to get more training, right? And you have to just grind, <laughs> like, And obviously there's a max level, right? But with life, there is no max level. You just keep going. And if you have kids, you know, and you raise them right, then you pass down the mission, right? So now they're on that same mission and it's just never ending, right? As long as they're able to carry on the mission and pass it down and they're able to carry the mission and pass it down. You then realize why some of these, you know, families that have power for a long, long time because they've done it the right way where they properly pass down the education, right? They probably pass down the resources, right? To make sure that <clears throat> that first man's vision is continued to this day. Maybe it changes, right? Maybe they change directions, but it all started with one guy, probably two, three, you know, family members, they put their heads together and they say, let's become, you know, unstoppable. Let's make sure that we're able to do whatever we want to do, go wherever we want to go, right? Right? And all of this comes with who you build with, who's around you, what kind of alliances are you making, right? What kind of what kind of alliances are you forging, <laughs> right? Because believe it or not, some of the most successful people, the, some of the most wealthiest people, those that you know, those that you don't know, they get there because they either have a really, really big and strong family, and they do, a really large, strong family, right? And... They also have powerful alliances that have been forged for decades, if not centuries, right? Depending on how old the family lineage is, right? And I'm not trying to get all conspiracy theory on you guys. This is just a fact of life, right? You see it all around, you know, the king passes it down to the prince and it just keeps on going. Why? Because one man chose to step up for his family or for his name. Like, what does your name mean to you right now? Right. If if I if somebody Googles your name, what comes up? Who are you? What are you doing to actually build your name right now? 
right? Like, what are you actually trying to conquer right now? Are you actually trying to conquer anything, right? Are you just conquering another day, making sure that, you know, you eat, you do your baby workouts at the gym, you know, you do some work here and there, you make a little bit of money and, you know, whatever. If that satisfies you, okay, do <laughs> do your thing. And, you know, just in case you guys are wondering why I'm dressed like this, I'm just coming from church. And another thing, too, I, I had a performance today that I completely forgot about, right? And I say performance, it's not like it's a performance, it's optional. But, you know, I planned to do it today, but I forgot it was today. And I showed up anyway, obviously, and I performed anyway, obviously, because that's what I do. That's my personality. <laughs> like, I'm going to show up. I'm going to do what needs to get done. Right. And I played the saxophone and I'm, I've been doing it for 13 years. I've been playing for 13 years. I'm actually quite talented at it and not just talented. Obviously, I've got the reps. Right. Like, that's why I'm able to play the way I play. So I'm able to do what I do. And I'm not a master or anything like that. Right. Because playing an instrument is one of those things where no matter how good you are, you are truly never a master of that instrument because somebody out there can do it better than you or they might be able to play a certain sound better than you or they might be able to play a certain tone better than you or they might be able to play a certain speed and you can't play at that speed. But because you could play at a different speed, you sound better. But if they play at that speed, they sound better. So you're never truly a master but you do keep getting better and better the longer you play. This goes back to life, right? The more experience you have, the longer you play the game, the longer you play to win, the longer you play to improve and become exceptional at your craft, whatever it is that you do, as long as you're making sure you are the best person at that thing, guess what? Money is going to come regardless, right? Like for me, there's so many things that I could monetize on, right? One of the biggest things that held me back for so long is the fact that I had so many different options to make money, right? And because I had so many different options, I would constantly be switching my mind on what I wanted to do or how I wanted to do it, right? And it's because I I knew whichever direction I go, I can succeed and I will succeed, right? But maybe it's not coming fast enough. So now I'm switching my mind. I'm switching directions. And then, you know, I'm trying to find the fastest lane. But now I'm in a state of mind where I will monetize on every skill that I have in the best way that I can. Right. But one thing at a time. Right. Look at some of these big dogs out there. Right. You Look at, you know, Will Smith, The Rock. You know, a lot of these guys like they've done so many different things and they've monetized in so many different ways because it's things that they wanted to do. It's things that they wanted to monetize and it's how they wanted to monetize it. Right. Like who would have thought the rock was going to drop a song or something when he did like what, two, three years ago now. Right. Nobody thought he was going to do that, but he wanted to, he knew he could sing. He knew he had the talent and guess what? He got to a point where he launched his own song and it did well, right? It did decent. Right. And obviously it's not something he's always doing. Who knows? Maybe he'll drop an album in the future. But it goes back to show you that the more you push to become exceptional, to become absolutely unstoppable, to make sure that whatever you do is diamond, you drop a brand diamond, you drop a computer chip. Everybody wants to buy it. You create a new device, new software. Everybody wants to buy it. Look at Elon Musk. Everything this man touches turns into absolute success, right? Why? Because he got really good at building teams. He got really good at making sure everything is working in an efficient and the most optimal way. And he's able to replicate that in any area, he, in anything that he does. Why? Because he chose to, again, he's still playing the game. He's still choosing to become exceptional, right? All the things that I talked to you guys about, in these last recent videos, and I always talk about this, is build skills, master the skills, get so good at it that whatever you touch becomes golden, right? Like, be a handyman, be good with computers. <laughs> like, you guys don't realize that you're so young, right? Like, I, I'm 22, 
but most of you are young, at my age, a little bit younger than me, and some of you are probably older than me. But you're still young. So because you're so young, you can just continue to learn. And guess what? The longer you just keep learning and learning and learning, like on Friday, I was literally a handyman. And it, my brain operates in any way I want it to because I'm able to see things in certain ways because I've over time, I've trained myself to find solutions. No matter how, no matter what the task is, I want to find the most efficient solution to make sure that it works the way I want it to work. Right? And... A lot of you guys don't quite yet understand that, you know, and it's one of those things like even with the gym, <laughs> even with the gym, like you really need to take it on a serious level. Right. And I'm not saying just for size or for physique. For me, obviously, it's not just size for me. Like I want to make sure that, you know, whatever I throw on, I look good. Right. That's one of the reasons why I'm in the gym. And. You know, it's it's something that it's a saying I wrote down. It says training, train insane or remain the same. <laughs> right. If you truly want change, train insane or remain the same. Right. It's And you can adapt this in every any area of your life. Do it. Find a way to do it in a crazy way or in the most efficient way possible so that you do not remain the same. Right. You truly want to grow. Start doing different types of workouts. Start doing bigger workouts. Right. You, you you see some guys doing some insane workouts. Don't think that you can't do it. Right. It starts. With, everything is baby steps. Right. Like me right now. I'm you know, I, I, I've always loved calisthenics, but I never truly got into it. Right. But if I got into it a long time ago, I'd probably be do, able to do some crazy stuff right now, which I don't really regret. Because I'm into it now. I'm trying different things out now. Like I'm doing what I want to do and, you know, different types of risks that I want to take. Um, because it's not like somebody else is coaching me. I'm not true. I'm not really like watching videos. I'm just trying things. Right. I got the the pullover, whatever that's called. I, I can't think of the name right now. Um, and, you know, I'm able to stand like this on top of the bar now. Right. You, you know, you do a pull up, pullover. It's like a pull up. I can't think of the name right now for some reason, but, um, you know, it's one of those things where I'm making sure that whatever I want to do, I am able to do it, especially while I'm young and healthy and making sure I'm staying in shape, <laughs> making sure I'm looking good. Right. And it's another thing, right? It's like, no one will ever truly see how hard you work, man. Like, think about this. I've been playing the saxophone for 13 years, Right. And obviously, there's hours where I practice at home, practice by myself. Obviously, my dad forced me to get into it, which I don't regret. Um, it's one of those things, right? Whatever my parents told me to do and work on, I just did it. Because at that young age, I already knew that this matters, right? Somewhere in my life, I will use this and I will leverage it when I can, right? And it's like no one will ever truly see how hard you work. No one will ever truly see how hard you work. No one will ever truly see how hard you work, right? But guess what? They will see how good you get. They will never truly see how hard you work, but they will see how good you get. The more you internalize that saying, right? The more you personalize that saying, the more you make yourself and build yourself around that saying right no one will ever truly see how hard you work but they will see how good you get right that will allow you to become unstoppable right because again <laughs> it's a game until you die right and because it's a game until you die that means you need to continue to play and continue to level up and continue to do all the side quests, all the side missions that you have. Make sure you're doing them. Get that experience. Get those experience points. <laughs> and it's like, literally, look, like, if you're not understanding the point of this video, it's like, you must play the game until you die. <laughs> right? And you must become exceptional. Money, mind, and body like that's a quote that i've always said it's a saying i've always had money mind body become absolutely exceptional right income wise 
mindset wise, physique, right? Pursue greatness at every level, everything that you do, make sure you're the best at it, right? That's something I picked up from my dad. He said to always make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, nobody can do it better than you, right? And even if somebody else is able to do it better than you, go and learn, go and learn from them, work for them, work with them, do what is necessary to pick up the skills and the habits that those people have so that you can become just like them, right? Because that's what becoming exceptional is all about. You want to be the best, but you're humble enough to still want to learn from the rest and from the best, right? That's really what it comes down to, right? You're pursuing excellence, but you're humble enough to understand that you don't know everything. So now you're open to learning. And because you're open to learning, that really allows you to continue to stay at that level. Because believe it or not, Becoming one of the best is easy. Staying up there is what's hard, right? Being the best basketball players for 10 years is hard. You know, you could have, you could be a one season wonder, but doing it for 10 years, look at soccer, football, right? Whatever you want to call it. The last 15 years, two players at the top, Messi and Ronaldo. Like, why? Because, again, it's a game until you're gone, It's a game until you die. You must play the game to be the best. Two people at the top for 15 years, even right now, while they're basically retired, basically retiring. You don't see a single player that will actually get to their level in this current generation. Why? Because those guys were chasing greatness and they still are at their age. Right. Imagine that because they understand That it's a game until you're gone and you must do whatever it takes to get to the top, stay at the top, get to the top and stay at the top. Literally, that's how you get the power to do what you want to (laughs) do. It like you must be so focused on that mission of becoming the best at whatever it is you're doing so that you have the power to do what you want, when you want where you want, and with who you want. (laughs) Yo, man, that's really it for this one, guys. Make sure you hit the sub, comment your questions, comment your thoughts below, and of course, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. That's it for this one, boys. I'm out.